ladies and gentlemen, a nice warm welcome for the comedy of Mr. Jeff Goldberg. Come on, give a hand on here. Proud. I'm looking proud for Tuesday night. Give yourselves a hand. Yeah. Nice, nice. Did I hear you say you were married? How long? One year. Happy? Is that your wife? Good fucking answer. <laughs> I was married for 10 years, and I've been divorced for uh, 17. Sometimes uh, I really miss my ex-wife. Sorry, I couldn't say that and keep a straight face. Uh, when we decided we were going to have kids, I told my wife the only thing I care about is that they turn out to be happy and healthy. She was just a tad more ambitious. When it came time to choose a name for our son, I said Zachary would be a nice name. She said, what's the difference? The only name that goes with Goldberg is Doctor. <laughs> We had one kid and then we had twins, and after the twins I decided to get a vasectomy. For those of you who haven't had the pleasure, what happens is they numb you. Down there. Down there. And then the nurse holds your testicles while the doctor cuts and snips. Just my luck. A gorgeous blonde nurse is holding my balls and I can't feel a damn thing! <laughs> People get divorced for a lot of reasons. I got tired of her telling me where to go and what to do and where to turn when I'm driving? I mean, I'm an adult. I don't need anybody to tell me where to turn when I'm driving. Of course, here was me two hours ago. Hey Siri, how do I get to the brokerage in Belmore? <laughs> the bad part was when Siri replied and said, You idiot. You've had all week to plan for this. I think she's been hanging out with my ex-wife. Uh, I got the vasectomy because I thought it would spice up our marriage. I thought it would be nice to have sex without worrying about having more kids. So after the procedure, I came home and I said, Honey, the doctor said, I'll be completely healed and ready for worry-free sex in six weeks. And she said, Six weeks? We haven't had sex in six years. <laughs> but don't worry, I'm going to mark it on my calendar. In six weeks, I'm going to have a headache. <laughs> Ever since the pandemic, I've been doing what I call virtual dating. Some people call that Pornhub. <laughs> Me too, huh? <laughs> Uh, ever since the divorce, all that happens is everybody wants to set me up on a blind date. Everybody. I once went on a date, and the woman brought her dog in her pocketbook. I'm not kidding. Dog in the pocketbook. Now, I love dogs, so I didn't mind, until she ordered the lobster for herself and a steak for the dog. <laughs> I said to her, hey, not for nothing, but you're feeding that dog a $65 filet mignon. And she said, what did you want me to feed him? The last date we went on, he got sick from the lobster. <laughs> And to make it worse, when it came time for dessert, we both told the, the waiter that we were full, but the dog ordered tiramisu. <laughs> Another time I went out and I thought I was doing really well because it looked like she was winking at me. Turned out, no kidding, she had a bad facial twitch. It's not funny, it really did happen. I called her the next day to say, you know, I had a good time, but I don't think it's going to work out. And before I could get the first words out of my mouth, she said, hey Jeff, I'm flattered that you called, but I could not date a man who can braid his nose hair. Exactly, that's what I thought. It got worse. She then said, hey, you're a 66-year-old pot-smoking wannabe stand-up comedian paying child support for three kids. Oof, that hurt so bad that now I have a twitch. <laughs> Just last week, a friend called me and wanted to set me up. He said, Jeff, she's 89, but she's gorgeous, has lots and lots of money, and a sparkling personality. I figured, what the hell? I met her. She had her dog in her pocketbook and a facial twitch and started with, Hey Jeff, you seem nice, and I'm attracted to your braided nose hair. I'd like to have more kids though, please don't tell me you've had a vasectomy. Hmm. For my day job, I'm in sales, so if anybody's interested in solar for their home, please press 1. If you'd like to save money on your credit card rate, press 2. And I'll be at the bar later in case anybody's interested in a subscription to Newsday. <laughs> I was at the bar earlier talking to a woman. I thought I was doing well. I'm, I'm not good at reading signals. Can you tell me, what's it mean when a woman says, Hey Jeff, what's a girl got to do to get on your do not call list? <laughs> you like that one? <laughs> Uh, we use Zoom all the time at my job now, and I don't mind video conferencing, but I hate it when people don't realize they're on mute. 
I was in a meeting just this morning, and the facilitator had to keep telling people, you're on mute, you're on mute. After like the 16th time, I lost it, and I started ranting, come on, people! We've been doing this for over two and a half years now. It's about time you figure out where the damn mute switch is. I probably would have gone for another 10 minutes, but somebody texted me and said, hey, Jeff, you're on mute. Yeah. You smelled that one coming, right? <laughs> Oh, what else can I tell you? Oh, I hate that I have post-nasal drip. I hate it. <laughs> How strange, right? A Jewish comedian whining about his health. <laughs> it causes me to cough all the time, and I finally decided I was going to do something about it, so I went to see a specialist. And he said, Jeff, I've got good news and bad news. The good news is, I can clear it up like that. All you got to do is take Mucinex. The bad news is, it has a negative side effect, and a lot of men don't like to take it because it can completely wipe out your sex drive. I said, hey, Doc, write the prescription. My girl won't even notice. She's 89. <laughs> I also have allergies. My eyes get very itchy and incredibly red, and people think I'm stoned all the time. This is a problem when I get pulled over by the police for speeding. In fact, I've been pulled over so many times that if I pass just two more breathalyzers, Progressive's going to drop my insurance rate. <laughs> and people my age are starting to retire. I went to a party just a couple of weeks ago when I was talking to my friend Diane. I said, Diane, how did you know when you could retire? And she said, Jeff, it's very simple. When you've saved up 13 years of your annual income, you can afford to stop working. And I thought, 13 years of my income? What a sucker. Unless she finds out I've had a vasectomy, I'm dating my retirement plan. <laughs> and the good news is, she's got a really bad cold. Uh, that was a delay. Hey, you guys have been great. My name is Jeff Goldberg. Thank you so much. <laughs>